In this video, we're going to be creating a platform game using the Game Maker tutorial that came from the website. And you read through here, and you'll see that uh, we're going to be making something similar to uh, Mario Brothers or Super Mario Brothers, where a little person or a character runs across the screen and jumps up to different platforms. Um, eventually, you will be um, having it shoot pterodactyls and dinosaurs and picking up magic mushrooms and getting points and having a high score but um, we're going to start with the basics it tells you to open uh, platform one and uh, what I'll do is I will create that for you uh, we're going to be using the uh, simple ball it's like a soccer ball and just a block to create an object that can uh, move left and right and jump up and can go to um, land on different islands and go up the board or to the side of the board. So first thing we're going to do is uh, we start with a new project and you should call this project Platform 1 and we create it. This is using um, our Game Maker Studio 1.4 edition um, you can see they have the 2.0 out now, but that one is, uh, is, is very different in layout than the 1.4 version that we're using. Um, first thing we'll do is we'll bring in a couple sprites. All we need to do is bring in the ball. So we'll load our sprites, uh, find in your uh, libraries where it is. Mine is in... We'll go to computer. It's in my Z drive, and we have Game Maker uh, official tutorials from the Game Maker website, platform games, resources, and here is the ball. Oh, it's uh, like a volleyball. Oops. And remember, when we load it, uh, we want to click on remove the backgrounds. Uh, you can't really see it here, but there's a white square around here, and if we remove the backgrounds, that'll give the a ball a round, round shape instead of with this square that you see here. I'll remove these these corners off of it, and uh, we'll leave everything the same except we'll call this sprite underscore ball, and we hit OK. So that brings in the ball, and the only other thing we have is uh, oh, let's make an object later is uh, we want to bring in the block. All right, so this is already square. So you can click remove backgrounds, but it's, it's not relative because uh, the square is a square. So um, we'll hit open. <coughs> and we leave everything the way it is, and we hit OK. So now we have a ball, and oh, we got to call this SPR underscore block let me see here block so we have our two sprites in uh, next thing we'll do is we'll make objects so you can click up here on objects. I already accidentally had something here. So the first thing I'll do is I'll make this object uh, a block object. So underscore um, object block. And we're going to use the uh, sprite block as our sprite. And we don't really need to do anything for all these. Um, we want it to be solid. And uh, to start with, we're going to want it to be visible so that we can see it. So we go ahead and hit OK on that. And we 
want to make a character, an object character, or character object. So we'll go up here to create an object. And we're going to call that object character. And the spray we're going to use is the ball for that one. Um, and some of the things uh, you'll see on uh, page three of the handout. All right, so we have our, our ball and our black square or block in there. And we're going to want to add motion to it. So you can see uh, for the object character, we're going to have uh, a step. Um, we're going to have all these action in the step. Then we're going to have a collision with the block. And then we're going to want the keyboard to move uh, left, up, and to the right. So we'll go through and we'll put these uh, events and these actions for those events in. So the first one we want is um, a step event. Step. So there it is. And then in our actions. So um, what we have here is uh, we just have a little uh, comment put in so that uh, we can we can have a better understanding of of what our coding is doing. So we have uh, check uh, oh, whether it's in the air and hit OK. And uh, we're going to have a uh, check empty. And uh, we'll have X zero and we'll have our Y as one and we'll make it relative. All right, so put all that and then hit OK. And then we'll have our um, set gravity. So here is our um, set gravity. And uh, we'll have the direction being 270 degrees, which is uh, downwards. And our gravity being 0 0.5. And then we'll hit OK. Then we're going to have uh, else statement. And then we're going to set our gravity uh, once again to 270, which is down 270 degrees. And zero which means that it's not going to work so either we have gravity or we don't have gravity and then we're going to put in another comment which is limiting the, the next set of code is limiting the vertical speed or the speed downward And we're going to put in a variable, a test variable. And we want our uh, V speed or our vertical speed is our vari variable. And if the value is uh, greater than 12, And what's going to happen if it's greater than 12 is we're going to set the vertical speed to be 12. Therefore, once you get up as high as 12, it stops at 12. So there we have all our code for our, our step event. Now we're going to put in our Collision, add event, collision, and we want it to collide with the block. And the actions we're going to have here, we're going to have a move to contact.
and we want that direction to be the direction then we want the maximum to be 12 and with solid objects so our block our object block is a solid object or should be a solid object and then we're going to set the vertical speed so if we collide with the block our vertical speed is going to be zero so we can go as fast as 12 but if we run into a block it'll be zero all right so now we're going to add our next uh, event we got a keyboard event and it's the left keyboard and what we want to happen to is uh, if put in negative four and make it relative all right so it's if the positions and we're going to have uh, if it's a free position no collisions then we're going to jump to this one right here jump to jump to the position and that'll be x position of negative 4 y equals 0 we'll make that relative and hit OK alright so that's it for our uh, left keyboard now we have to add a keyboard up and We're going to have our check collision to the right. We set Y to 1. Keep it relative. Check. Hit OK. We're going to set our vertical speed. to negative 10 and OK and that's it for our keyboard up now we got a keyboard to the right and we'll add our check empty change X to 4 make it relative hit OK and bring in our jump to position X is 4 Y is 0 make it relative hit OK alright so there's there's all our code for our character object so we can hit that I wanted to go back and make sure I made this block solid. Okay, so I did make it solid, so we do that. So now uh, we just need to make a room. So let's uh, create a room. And the first thing you'll see is our uh, snap box. These boxes are 32 pixels by 32 pixels, but our block is 16 by 16. So what we're going to do is we're going to change these to 16 by 16 so that they will fit perfectly and we'll go into our objects and here's our block object so if I just click anywhere it fills in so I can zoom in and out here uh, let's put a, put a bunch of blocks down across the bottom All right, you don't want them walking off the screen because there's we have no left or right in here so it'll just disappear if we do that if it falls off the screen it'll just fall for infinity 
to start the game over. So you want to put this bottom here. All right, so we just want to put some blocks down so that we can test it. Uh, and you can go in here and you could you could make any kind of patterns with the blocks. All right, so let's move uh, this to our ball. And I'll put one ball in there. And uh, let's go ahead and file, save as. All right, we already got it as sa platform one, so OK. So we got it saved now. Let's run it and see how our code works. Oh, we didn't do the background either. Let's do just this all in there. Oh, where is it? Here we go. Oh, so there's the ball. This kind of went off. So if I if I push the up arrow, it goes up. I can go to the left or I can go to the right. So if I had a series of these things to jump on, I could jump jump on them all over the place. So I'm going to pause there, and what you do is you put in this code and then create your own um, pattern or game, and uh, we will come back with the next step. So once you finish up putting in all these little blocks and steps uh, for the ball, then you'll be done with the platform one. All right, you could see that I've uh, I've added. Uh, we have over here. I've added all of this to it with the ball, so we can go ahead uh, and push play. And see that see that we have this this whole platform game set up, which is you know basically it's just the ball moving around oh, trying to get the different levels and figuring out a way to get around to the other side of the so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to um, go to the second part platform two which starts on page five of your handout so we've finished platform one so this is platform two better graphics and what we're going to do is we're going to bring in uh, we're going to bring in a little a little character that faces right and left, and um, we're going to add um, some backgrounds to it and some um, nice looks. Instead of the blocks, we're going to use some nice looking uh, like islands or whatever you want to call them platforms. So get rid of that one. So what we do is uh, we go under our sprites and uh, we're going to bring in once again you gotta go to uh, the Z drive where your um, platform game resources and um, we're going to bring in our character left and right. So let's start with the character right. We're going to remove the background because once again there's a white square around there. And uh, open that up. And we'll call this SPR underscore right. We're going to uh, modify the mask and um, how we're going to do that is we are going to click this manual button and then hit OK and then hit OK on that sprite. Then we're going to um, bring in our character left, remove background, open, modify mask, manual, OK, and hit OK. So we have those two sprites. Oops, I forgot to call this 
SBR underscore left. Okay. And So we have our objects. So we had a soccer ball here. We don't want the soccer ball anymore. So we're going to put in our little uh, character right. So we're going to leave that object character. But we're going to put this little uh, this little girl or little character in there. Um, we'll go ahead and leave all this the same. We can leave this the same. Uh, what we're going to do here is um, we're going to add a code in here and it's going to be our change sprite code. So this is if our keyboard is left we're going to want to uh, change our sprite to be the left sprite and then hit OK. And we want this to be the first thing. So we're going to just drag that, click and drag that all the way to the top. So the first thing that we have in here is our change sprite to the left when we hit the keyboard. And then we have our, our motion, our jump to position, uh, the same. All right. Our up is going to be just, it's just going to stay exactly uh, what, whatever sprite is in there. It's going to stay the same. And then when we go to our right, we're going to do the same thing. Now we're going to change the sprite uh, so that when we click on the right, it changes to our uh, sprite that faces right. We're going to hit OK. And once again, we're going to make this. So this is going to, we want this to be the first thing that happens when we click on that button. So, you know, that's, that's all we're going to do here. So let's go ahead and and we can test this. There's file save. Let's save it as uh, platform two. Hit OK. And um, this is just the first part. So I push play here. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh no, it's fine. So um, there's a little a little girl that when I click on the up arrow, she jumps up. Uh, when I go right, she goes right, right, and I click left, she goes left, right, left. So instead of a ball, now we have a little person. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to want to make these these appear to be better. So in the backgrounds. So what we want to do is we want to uh, create a background. And we're going to load the background. And once again, I got to go to my uh, Z drive. And Game Maker, Special Tutors, Platform, Resources. And I'm looking for the sky. There it is. So we got the sky. I don't have to do anything over here. So I got a, um, a sky background in there. And I don't have to, oh, I just changed the name. Really don't have to do that, but it's better. Back underscore SKY. So I got my sky background. Hit OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'll go into my room. And under backgrounds, I will want to add the sky so there we go so we got now we got a nice sky background in here and you could already you could already see how nice it looks uh, you could hit play and then notice that that's in there um, so then that's good with that one so we have uh, another under our backgrounds we're gonna add another background and we're gonna add what's uh, called a, a tile 
So we click on tiles and hit OK. And then we're going to want to call this a tile set. So we're going to click on this use as a tile set. And uh, we want the separation to be one pixel by one pixel. All right, 16 by 16, of course, is our, our tiles, is our squares are 16 by 16, so that's good. And then we don't need an offset, so we have a separation of one and one. So that's okay. So now what we do is we go into our room, and under tiles, we can uh, pick. Oh, well, we could pick background one. Uh, I didn't name it. I should have named it background tiles, but it doesn't make a difference. So what you see here is uh, I can click on these, and then I could um, add them places, right? Um, I can add them here, but see what happens if I add them here. You don't see anything happening, do you? It's actually behind. So I can click on any picture. So here's one end. These are 16 by 16. Here's the other end. So what I did there was I... I put one side on one side, one on the other, and then I put these in the middle. So I'm going to I'm going to put one right right here. Here's one. And then there's a middle one. And then I can put that there. And uh I could do the same thing. So here's one end. And there's another end. And I could put that across here. And uh, for this one, I can make it a cloud. So let's go cloud on this side. Cloud, 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 and then the other side of the cloud. All right. And uh, we'll go ahead and save that for now. And let's see what happens. So I run the game. And I have my little person here. But what you're going to see happening here is, whoa. See, I added, I added stuff here, and I added stuff here, and I added stuff here. But I don't see it because the blocks are in the way. But you'll notice that the pictures I put in are don't have any code on it. So, so I made the code for the blocks. I didn't make any code for these little uh, pictures. So they're basically just background pictures if you want to call it but I want them to be over the blocks or I want to see them I don't want to see the blocks so so what I can do is uh, when I go back to the block object I can make it invisible if I check if I check off on visible it becomes invisible whether or not the object is okay so now if I do this push play and you can check it out uh oh so here's my clouds and here's uh, here's where these platforms are this is a platform but the blocks are invisible so I don't know it's there so so this is a this is blocks you don't see the blocks we oh so I don't see that block So I see clouds, and I see uh, platforms, but I don't see the blocks. So obviously what I want to do is go back to the room. I want to, uh, if I click on this, I can write, oops, I didn't want to do that, delete that, tiles. All right, so I want to get rid of these ones because these are kind of deceptive. And I want to add throughout the entire thing uh, stuff like, like vines. And there's spikes. I can add spikes. And then there's uh, bricks, so I could take these bricks, I could I could layer them up, 
through here and then when everything you know I got to make sure I'm doing this a certain way uh, there's these kind of bricks so I want to make sure that I add these across these are on the very bottom ground or these could be a stack of dirt going upwards I want to make sure uh, that I cover this up so it looks really nice okay so uh, you can go ahead and uh, do that and I will pause it here and you finish yours up and then go ahead and uh, play your game okay now that we finished um, adding all the backgrounds um, we're going to go on to our platform game three which we're going to add uh, little mushrooms um, we're going to add pterodactyls and dinosaurs uh, that are dangerous uh, we have to get past them and uh, we're going to have a, a level exit entry and put some points in on all this stuff so let's go ahead and uh, look at um, some of the sprites um, we need to um, bring in a mushroom sprite uh, we're going to have uh, precise collision checking um, and separate uh, collision mass go ahead and hit OK uh, make sure that when you bring it in that you uh, get rid of the background and name it SPR underscore mushroom All right. we want to bring in our our level Ow. Um, Ow. sign again get rid of the background um, precise collision checking uh, we're gonna have uh, some blocks right so we had our original block uh, that was already here with the just the way it is so it's the same um, then we have a, um, a wide uh, block you're gonna bring that in we're gonna bring in a red uh, block we're gonna bring in a tall block make a sprite out of it we're gonna create uh, monsters All right, so we have our um, monster that's going left we have our monster that's going right we have a flat uh, monster that has uh, precise collision checking we call it monster flat uh, we have this little blue dot um, for the marker we're going to have uh, precise collision checking for that we have our flying a little flying dinosaur uh, we have our flying to the left and are flying to the right so we bring in all those uh, sprites all right we're gonna bring in some sounds all right so we have a kill monster sound um, normal sound right preload it we have a kill character sound we have a get mushroom sound and we have a finish uh, finish level sound all right, so their backgrounds are still just the background uh, of the sky and the background of tiles. All right, so we have our uh, objects. All right, so let's take a look at our um, object character. All right, so this is all staying the same. Um, this is all staying the same. We have our collision with the block is still the same. But we have our uh, collision with the uh monster object so first thing we're gonna have to do I guess we'll go we'll go back and we'll make our uh, monster object so let's hit OK on that and let's look at our monster object alright so our object monster is our sprite monster um, we need to uh, do a create event and then we need to do uh, start moving in directions to the right a speed of four Uh, we need to put in an end step with a, with a uh, variable. Uh, our H speed value larger than zero. Okay. Change sprite. 
into uh, the monster to the right. Uh, speed of one. Okay. Or else uh, we do monster change sprite monster to the left. Speed of one. And then we have collisions with our uh, with our block. So if the monster runs into a block, uh, then we're going to reverse our horizontal motion. And we have object markers. So if we collide with an object marker, uh, then we reverse the direction. Okay. So in order to put this in, we have to have an object marker. So you can create these three events. We'll have to come back to add that in there. So let's go look at our uh, object marker. So our object marker is simply a uh, the marker sprite. Hit OK. You just created the object marker. Now you can come back to the dinosaur. You can um, add a collision with the object marker and then you could add your reverse direction when that collision takes place. Alright, let's do our um, Let's do our mushroom. So our mushroom is uh, a sprite of mushroom. Let's do a create event and then change it into a sprite mushroom random um, 10 because there's different mushrooms. Speed zero. Hit OK. It's visible, of course. All right, so uh, we create an object level. We use a sprite level, object level exit. Uh, we don't have anything in here yet. Okay. Object death. We create a object death out of the death sprite. Let's go back to our flying monster. All right, so we have our sprite flying. We have our object sprying. We create... Uh, Start moving to the right, a speed of three, hit OK. Uh, if our variable, our H speed, value of zero, if it's larger than, uh, change into this flying sprite to the right with a speed of one. Else, we uh, change into a flying left sp sprite with a speed of one. If we collide into the block object, then we reverse. If we collide into the object marker, then we reverse. And then you hit OK. So we got our object marker. Let's see, our object dead monster is from our object flat. We have a create. We have a set alarm. A number of steps 10. Alarm equals 0. That's OK. And our alarm zero is destroy uh, the instance. Okay. And that's that takes care of all our objects for this. So let's go into our rooms. Oh wait, no, we gotta we have to go back to our character objects. Now that we have all these objects made, we can all right, so we had the first two in there. So we have an object monster. So we have a um, test expression. A v speed is less than zero, and and y is less, or, or yeah, v speed is greater than zero equal, or and and y is less than other dot y plus eight, right? Okay, then we're going to start the block. This is just a comment. Destroy the monster. Uh, play, play our sound. Kill a monster. Loop is false. Not true. All right, we're going to set our score 50. Make it relative. Start moving. All right, we select the middle. Speed of zero. All right, we're going to change our instance object dead yes we're going to perform it 
and then we're going to end block, else, start block, our comment, destroy the character. Uh, we're going to play sound, kill character, false, we don't want to loop it. All right, we're going to set the sleep to 1000, make it true. Restart in the current room. All right, so there's no effect. We don't transition to another one. And then end block. All right, so now we got the object flyer. Sound kill character false. Sleep 1000 true. Restart in the current room. Object mushroom. Play sound, get mushroom. Get a score of 10. Destroy the instance. Okay. Object level. Play the finish sound. We don't want to loop it. We uh, redraw true. 1000. Um, if next room exits, start block. Go to next room. No effect in the transition. End block. L start block. Show high score table. All right. Uh, background is a back sky, border is show, red, black, regular font, hit OK. You can play with those if you'd like. And then you want to restart the game, end block, object death, uh, play our uh, kill character, loop is false, uh, sleep 1000, redraw is true, and restart current room with no transition effect. All right, so we already have uh, these. These are all the uh, left sprite, the right sprite of the character we had last time. All the same. All the same. All right, we have these two. It's the same as last time. You can check to make sure all your stuff is done correctly. All right, we're going to change to the right sprite when we push that button. Check that. And we have an outside room. Our Y room height, room underscore heart, if it's larger than. Play sound, kill character, false, sleep, thousand, true, restart the room with no current, no transition, and block. Okay, so we have all that stuff. Let's see. All right, so that's, we have everything in there. So if we push play, what you should be able to see is so we get the mushrooms if we go into the to pterodactyls or we get killed All right we get to jump on the cloud so you can go ahead and whatever however you set yours up uh, if you go on the spikes you die oh wait let's see Yep. So that's because what we have is a uh, we have in our rooms, right? So our, our death object is invisible. So anywhere we place these death death objects, then you'll die if you run into it, and they're invisible, so you won't see them if they're on the ground. So you can see what we did was we have our we have our uh, death death bars here. So if you land on this, you end up dying. And we have our spikes in front of it, and they're they're see through. So you can put these anywhere and have that have that happen. So if we collide with the dinosaurs, we're gonna die. If we step on these red bricks, we're gonna die. 
And that's that's all that was added to this room in that in that manner. All right, so that's uh, game platform um, three. Let's go on to four. And let's take a look at how things change in four. All right, so now in four. Okay, so uh, now we're going to put some finishing touches up on this game. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, let's, let's make it more like the Mario Brothers. Let's uh, change the view. So uh, this room, you can see, see this room here. Um, it has, I created mine with a, a width of uh, 1,024 and a height of 768. So it's a, it's a big game. And uh, you could, I could easily add another two or three thousand onto this. Let's do that. Let's put a. Uh, oh, it's just what. So so you could see, this is this is my original room, but I could create a game that that's this big and keep doing it. I could I could make, like you see there, I could make it thirty three thousand, and it's it's a huge game, you know. If you wanted to, if you wanted to keep doing things like that so so it's um this is the settings for for that room but now we can go under views and I could check uh, enable the views and I want it to be visible when um, when I have this room it starts and I could change the window so I could do th two things or I could do a couple of things so I want it to follow the character around so the room view is going to follow this uh, little girl around and the width and height of the view in the room and the port that's on the screen I want those to be the same I want the width to be um, 800 by 300 I could put anything uh, I could change these numbers um, but I like this is going to be a width of 800 and a height of 300 and if I have how it follows the character around um, by the height and the uh, vertical horizontal and the vertical yeah horizontal and vertical um, that's that's 32 by 32 so what's going to happen here is this view will stay the same until she gets way over here and then it'll start to rotate with her as she moves back and forth um, we can kind of see this this box this this view box has 800 by um, 300 with the height um, or I could change this. Well, well, let me try this first. So let's uh, let's let's play, and you can see what happens now that I that I have this all set. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's here she is, and here's my room, and that's 800 by um, 300, and you can see that's kind of that's kind of just just like what was what was sitting right here uh, in that view um, she can't go this way because there's a thing but you'll see see how it doesn't move she just stays here there's a, it's a big room but in order for it to move she has to she has to go all the way over there right this is this is a distance of 32 so the room doesn't move unless she's the distance is 32 from there so that that's that's okay. I mean, you, you play what you want to play. But if you want to be more like centered in the room, then um, you have a width of 800. Uh, you could have your horizontal be something like um, 200. Gives you a little playroom. Uh, let's we could do 200 by 200. Um, we could set these numbers to be anything, but you would want it to be at least no more than half. So 400 for a width and 150 by the height. Um, so let's we'll change those settings, file, save, and then uh, push play. And now you see, see how the room moves? 200 by 200. So, so if there's a distance of, so this is 800. So a distance of 200 is probably right around here. So when she gets right around here, she'll have a buffer between this part and this part so we can see that 
so this is the edge right that's the edge over there and so there's a buffer of about 200 see it stopped moving right there nope. because that's about 200 away and she gets over here so that's this is probably about 200 right here so when she gets up here we'll start to move horizontally like see right here right here is about 200 so when she moves it moves the it moves the screen over too all right so that's all you have to do uh, and then you have it more like uh, Mario Brothers and next we'll do some finishing touches on the game uh, scores and all the rest of it alright we have, uh, we have our all fixed and uh, so things we have added here is uh, we have this um, ladder sprite which is this green uh, horizontal bar and then we have the um, the blue uh, object markers we're gonna make a object ladder and an object marker so these these blue dots if the dinosaurs collide with them they'll turn around just like they do so like this pterodactyl when it flies over here it'll it'll bang into uh, these um, blocks the the regular blocks and it turns around it bangs into this block and turns around but this one's up here if, if you don't put blue dots up here the blue markers the dinosaur will just fall off and then it'll come over here and then it'll hit that wall and then it'll they'll all drop down to the bottom so if you put these blue blue dots uh, that'll be invisible uh, they only affect the dinosaurs. They have code, the dinosaurs only have code. So when this dinosaur hits that blue dot, it'll turn around and come back this way, and hit the blue dot, and it'll, it'll walk back and forth. Pterodactyl is the same thing. So we have a blue dot here. So the pterodactyl will fly. It hits the blue dot and then comes back, and it flies back and forth in that pattern. Uh, same thing. This uh, green bar is something that our character object can use as a ladder. So we're going to put code on that. Uh, we'll go back and look at the codes, um, or we'll have code on our on our character so that we uh, we have that. So um, so let's take a look at uh, what we have going in here. We have our uh, our ladder. Uh, so we're pulling in this uh, separate collision masks. Um, it's a uh, it's our ladder uh, picture, just a green bar. Our sprite ladder okay so we brought that in there um, we have our blocks we have our death sprite we have our block vertical or block horizontal uh, which were used in here um, for thinner to use thinner uh, blocks so you can put your clouds if you wanted to uh, make it look like you're walking in the clouds uh, type of thing as you're walking on top of it um, you have vertical blocks that you can use um, over here on the sides um, for whatever reason so oh so you could slip off all right so the edge it gives you more of an edge so we have our blocks that are 16 by 16 this one is a height of 16 and a, and a distance of 8 so when you get to the side of the um, platform uh, see where the green is if you stand here you'll start to slip off the edge uh, your character, your object will fall off and slip off the edge. So you can use those um, half blocks uh, that are tall for that. And then you could use these um, horizontal half blocks uh, so it looks like your feet are in the clouds uh, type of thing as you're walking through there so the, the clouds look more mushy. All right, so we had uh, already... Uh, you created these vines from the vine image uh, that was brought in uh, through the tiles. Okay, we have these vine images. You click and you add that over to the side. And right in the middle of it, you put these uh, uh, ladder sprites, and then we'll turn them into objects. Um, and then we'll use them as a 
collision object that we can climb on, we can do something. So we also have a new sprite, it's the climbing sprite. So the mask was modified so that it was manual just like the other ones. Um, and then we add that in there. So it's the back side. All right, so all our sounds are the same. We got all our sounds in there. Our backgrounds are the same ones we have there. So let's look at um, let's look at our um, objects that we have. All right, so let's first let's say, let's uh, make our object our our um, ladder. So we had our sprite ladder. We're going to add, create an object and then we go okay. All right, uh, we have our uh, object marker that we made. We already made that. Hit OK. Um, these are invisible. I'm sorry. So check off uh, visible. You don't want it solid and you don't want it visible. You want it invisible. Same thing for our object marker. We want it. We don't want it to be visible. All these blocks are object block V, object block um, H, and object block. We want those all to be invisible. So all of those shouldn't be checked. If you go ahead and look in your in your um, library to check that out. Um, this should be the same. This is visible. All right, it's a it's a no parent. A mushroom. All right, a depth of ten. All right, make it visible. All oh, and we have our. Uh, our sprite mushroom random 10 uh, speed 0 doesn't move uh, we have our dead monster um, and no parent create it visible uh, set alarm 10 alarm 0 uh, destroy the instant self okay so we have all those in there for that uh, object marker are flying so uh, no parent visible create and then this is this is the object marker this is what makes it uh, turn around those blue dots they're invisible these are invisible uh, you could use either one really the the blue one isn't any different than the than the black one? Uh, oh no, the difference is that the character bounces off the black one, and only the monsters uh, bounce off the blue ones. So yeah, there is a difference between the two. But um, you could use the, either one of these to make the the monsters turn around. All right, so uh, here's our monster. We have uh, create, uh, change it to left and right monster, uh, reverse, reverse. All right, so these are the same. These are the same um, for both of them. Uh, nothing changes there. Let's get clear some of this up. Uh, so our character. So. We go through this and steps. All right, so uh, we have we have a additional additional um, code in here so we have our check else so we had all that uh, vertical so now we have our uh, comment check weather on the ladder so that's new um, we have uh, our object is our object ladder all right and that's relative start block set gravity it's still down at 270 but it's zero so you're not falling when you're on it uh, variable speed v speed equals zero and change sprite into your climbing sprite with a speed of one so and then end block so 
all of this code right here is for our uh, ladder object so that when we get to that you can climb up or down it um, using that bit of code right there all right so our object block is the same um, our object for the monster uh, is the same so we have the destroy monster uh, we have the destroy the character okay those are all the same all right so we have our object uh, flyer um, we have our mushrooms we have our next level all right, so we have a show high score table in here now. So we had go to the next room, uh, show high score table. We had that restart game. That was all there. Our object death. All right, so we have our move to the left. All right, so first thing to do is we change the sprite. All right. Uh, we had this check empty, make it relative, only solid, negative four, uh, relative, negative four, and we have an else here. All right, so we have a negative four, negative eight, relative, only solid, start block, uh, jump, x negative four, negative eight, relative, uh, 270 um, this is our move contact maximum of eight solid objects and then we have an end block all right so now we have uh, more for our up button so object ladder allows us to move up make it relative uh, we have our check empty y is negative three make it relative uh, jump to position negative three relative else start block uh, this was our collision that we had before relative so we already had this and we already had our vertical speed uh, negative 10 and block all right so once again we have our uh, change um, sprite we have this we had else all right so relative uh, 4 negative 8 relative uh, solid objects 278 all right so then we added all that code in there uh, and then we have down because now we have a, a object ladder in the way relative okay uh, 3 only solid relative okay and jump to position three relative okay and we had this all right so this should all be the same all right why room height larger than uh, sound kill character false 1000 true all right no effect for transition okay so that's all our code for our uh, our player there is that okay? All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. All right, so uh, just like we had before, so you can see when I hit the when I hit the when I'm touching in contact with the green one, my character goes. I can pick up the mushroom, and right here's that blue. Right here is that blue blue dot making it turn around. You don't see it because it's invisible, but it's right there and it makes the dinosaur turn around. So now I can climb up here. Whee. There's blue dots there. You see I stepped on it and squished it. All right, so that's all we, we needed to do there. All right, so let's look at uh, five. 
the last one. Platform five. All right, so we have our sprite blocks, uh, all of this stuff in there. Okay, so now we got a, we have a bullet. Oops. So of a bullet, uh, you want to get rid of the background on it when you pull it in. We want precise uh, collision checking and separate collision mass. Hit OK. Uh, we have ammunition. It's a gun. Uh, precise collision checking, separate collisions. Hit OK. And we have a little heart. Uh, once again, get rid of the background. Precise separate collision mass. Hit OK. All right, so we have uh, all the same sounds there. All the same backgrounds there. All right, so objects. Let's look at this. All right, so we're going to make a, a bonus object out of the heart. All right, it's visible. It's not solid. We're going to make a controller object for the heart. Let's uh, get back to this. Let's do this first. We're going to make a um, ammunition visible. That's with the gun. All right, so we got our object bullet. So now our object bullet, visible, it has a collision with a, a block, and it destroys the bullet. It has a collision with the monster, it plays a sound, false, the kill monster sound. All right, gives you 50 points, make it relative. You destroy uh, the dinosaur, and you just destroy the self. So the bullet and the dinosaur disappear. Same thing, all the same things here. So other gets rid of the dinosaur, self gets rid of the bullet. Uh, and then outside, if it goes outside the room, we have walls, but if it goes outside the room, it destroys that instance there too. All right, so that was the bullet object. All right, so let's look at the object controller now. All right, so we have a game start. Uh, we set lives to three. Okay. We set the score caption info. Uh, show, don't score, score, don't show lives, don't show health. Okay. All right, so we have more lives. All right, so here's our high score table. Black skies or so. Restart page. And then we have a draw. All right. Set color. You can set the color, whatever you want. Uh, draw a rectangle. All right. Uh, we have we have a view, X view plus five, view, Y view plus five, view, X view plus 100, view, Y view plus 45. And then we have it filled. Uh, set colors, set color to black, draw a rectangle, outline instead of filled, uh, view, x view plus 10, view, y view plus 10, uh, sprite life is what we're using. Which is the little little girl picture. All right, view your score, plus 10, view plus 28, show your score. A variable, object, character, ammo, zero, larger than. And we have our sprite ammunition, uh, view plus 7, view plus 2, zero. All right, so all this is in our object controller. So, we, you know, it's it's a, just a little invisible thing, and we're gonna just going to, we're going to, Pull it on there and drop it on the screen anywhere you want. It'll be out of the way. 
All right, so all right, so all let's go through this again. So we got our our ladder, okay? Nothing new there. Our death, no, nope, nothing new there. Uh, next level, yeah, no parent, nothing new there. Our mushroom, nothing new there, right? Same thing. Ten, random ten. Depth of ten, visible. Our dead monster, nothing new there. Object marker, nothing new there. Object flyer, nothing new there. Object monster, nothing new there. Object V block, make sure it's solid, but it's invisible. Solid, but it's invisible. Solid, but it's invisible. And our character. So, all right. So, uh, we have create a set variable ammo to zero. All right? Ammo zero. Here's our step. All the same. Everything's the same that's here. All right? Same. Uh, all this is the same. Oh, wait. Negative. All right, so let's go through this. All right, so we had this. Destroy the monster. This is the same. This is the same. Relative. Stop. Zero. Object monster dead. Uh, yes. End block, S, start block. All right, so we have this, the same. This is the same. This is new. Uh, new life, minus one, relative. Uh, restart, same. All right, that's the same. All right, so we add this in here. All of this is the same. It's the same. All right, so we have uh, this. Let's see. So we play the finishing sound. False. Sleep. True. One thousand. Start block. Go to next room. No transitions. Else. Start block. All right. High score table. It's the same. Restart game. It's all the same. All right, so uh, the depth object, all right, so uh, this negative one relative, so you, you lose a life, but you die, all right, this was all the same. All right, so we have our object and you a collision with the gun, all right, so we get 10 bullets relative, and then uh, other, destroy the monster that hits it. All right, so our heart bonus. So you play a little uh, sound for the bonus. You get one extra life, one new life. And then you destroy the little heart. All right, this is all the same. All the same. the same this is all the same it's all the same it's all the same this is all the same all right so press the space bar this is so we can shoot our we can shoot our bullet Left, left, index, and what direction? 
All right, we got our bullet. It's going to have a speed of 12 and a direction of 180 relative. So when we're looking to the left, it's going to shoot to the left. All right, right equal to. And if we're looking to the right, it's going to shoot to the right. And then we're going to lose a bullet every time we shoot. And then that's that. All right, so that's all our objects. Now we're looking at our rooms. All right, so you can place the hearts anywhere. There's a heart here. All right, you can if I go put a heart here. You can put as many as many you can have someone fall. Here's our controller that has our high score, all that stuff. Uh, there's a gun here. There's a gun here. You could put guns all over the place if you want to drop guns everywhere. And uh, and that's it. All right. Settings are the same. Uh, views are the same. Tiles are the same. Backgrounds are the same. And run the game. All right, so here I whoop, here I am right here. Uh, you can see there's a little score. Whoop, got a mushroom. Got another mushroom. Got a mushroom. Got a mushroom. Oh, there's a heart. There's a gun. So now I have a gun. And I have 10 bullets. So I can start shooting. Shooting monsters. Let's shoot somebody. You do the space bar to shoot. Whoa. There, I shot it. You didn't see it, but I shot it. Oh. Let's go down here. We'll shoot this guy. I don't want to. Here we go. Bam! There you go. So you see they both disappear. And. Oh, no. I got another 10 bullets. And then I, I get out, and look, there's a high score. Noony. There. Look at that. That's great. Hit escape. And that's the game. And then you start over. You could make new levels if you wanted. But after that, you're done. So have a good day.